Working for NFSN and working with the youth in my community, it helps me, it helped me heal. I didn't have so much of a childhood like a lot of people have. I became a ward of state at a young age. I had five siblings and our house got raided and um, we got split up. So I was put in foster care, crossed over to the juvenile justice system due to making a threat. I was in over 48 placements. At the age of 14, I was in an out-of-home placement and I got pregnant um, through a sexual assault and that really um, hurt me, it scorned me, it put a lot of um, burden on me. Unless I want to cross over and end up in prison for the rest of my life or on drugs and stuff, like I really had to take charge of my journey and that's what I did. The part that helps me heal is being able to share my story. And now when these youth have to go and do interviews, I'm able to tell them like, hey, Project Harmony, that's a really good place, it's a safe spot. She was assigned to our Youth Impact team, so we're working with youth and families who have pretty significant trauma histories. She knows how important it is for these youth to feel supported, to feel like someone believes in them, to feel like someone is in their corner, because oftentimes they don't have that anyplace else, and she's able to be that person for them. When I was younger and found out that I was diagnosed with manic depression, bipolar, I felt like nobody understood me, and that's how I met Lakeisha. She helped me come a long way, and without her, I honestly, I don't know how far I would have gotten if it wasn't for her. She helped me more than I think she knows. I think she just thought she gave me just pep talks, but I took her words really serious. <laughs> and she helped me so much. She's inspiring. She's authentic. She has a way about her that she inspires other youth, inspires other adults. I've seen her firsthand help mentor those youth to further develop themselves into young adults, productive adults, um, teach them what it's like to um, have hope and to look for positive things to come in their future. She has a gift, I think, for connecting with people on a personal level. Um, she's able to make them feel heard. She makes them feel like they're important. Um, she really gives everything of herself uh, to, to do what the kids need. I tell my youth this all the time, just to strive. It don't matter where you've been. It don't matter where you come from. It don't matter your education level, your diagnosis, like we're all human beings and life is great. Don't let our past and our victimhood dictate our future. You strive for what you're going for, what you want. Never let people tell you that you can't make it, that you can't do it, because I am a walking testimony that I can, you know, that it can happen, it can be done. <laughs>